this is my report. A group of aliens landed in Roswell, New Mexico in 1937. They were on a diplomatic mission. They are called the Sweeties. President Roosevelt greeted them like any other dignitaries from abroad. But once U.S. scientists figured out Sweetie nuclear technology, they were imprisoned and enslaved by the government. They made computer chips and other technology we use today. World War II was won thanks to the Sweetie technology. In the 1960s, some aliens escaped and contacted MLK for help, but this was futile as the cover-up had already taken place. For a while, the aliens took part in MLK's peace movement, hoping for equal rights, but not for long as the slave aliens were recaptured. The existence of slave aliens like that of Native American Indians are now a myth. Aliens had a shorter lifespan than humans. By the 1990s, most of the aliens were born on Earth. By the turn of the century, the AC, IOU, and many high-powered lawyers had successfully changed the Constitution. It now reads, Aliens born in the United States are automatically granted citizenship and thus protected by the Constitution. Earth-born alien children are now allowed to go to school with humans. These alien children are called alien Americans. And that's my report on MLK and the alien Americans. Any questions? Are there any questions for Giovanna? Yes. <clears throat> alien Americans is an old derogatory term. We prefer to be called extraterrestrial Americans. Peace out.